What's up, everybody? What's good? What's good, man? Appreciate y'all for tapping in. We back here to show some old game on the ground from Hungry Hounds. Just got the pan ready for the next round. Who are willing to stick around? You know, pick up this game. You already know exactly what time it is. Man, I gotta get a better chair because the seat on this chair is starting to go flat, and it is not it. It is not it. But I hope everybody's had a good day today. Mine's been all right. You know, mine's been uh, pretty chill. Uh, laid back and productive all at the same time. I'm fixing up to go do my laundry after I get off of this. So that's another thing that's got to get done today. But you know what they say: if you don't do it, then who will? You know, if you don't do it, then who will? And that's 100% facts and not opinion. See, a lot of people be expecting people to do stuff for them. A lot of people be expecting other uh, others to enable them to keep living the way they are. To keep living in laziness, to keep living in carnality, to keep uh, to keep being broke, you know, not having a car, always hitching a ride from other people. A lot of people be expecting others to enable them, but when you give them, excuse me, when you give them that tough love, when you tell them no, I can't do, it, can't do it this time. Eventually, they'll learn. And they might stop coming around because they no longer benefit from you. But you're no longer being drained either. You're no longer being a, a resource station for that person. You know, you're giving them, giving them rides. You're giving them a place to stay. You're giving them money. You're giving them food all the time. But they don't appreciate it because they're taking it for granted. They say they do. But... Words without action are just empty words. Words without action are empty words. And that is 100% facts and not opinion. It's easy to say stuff. It's easy to say you, you appreciate this, you like this, you like that. See, saying a word is easy. But actually showing the action behind those words, that's a whole different story. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. They either don't know how to do that or they don't do that because they don't care. They just say they do because they want you to keep coming back around for them. They want you to keep enabling them. They want you to keep giving them money. They want you to keep giving them food. They want you to keep they want you to keep them under your roof. They want you to live with them. They want to use your car. They want this, that, and the third. So they tell you, Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing this, I appreciate you doing that. But what are they actually doing to show their appreciation are they working to find another job are they putting in applications are they getting a job and stacking up their money so they can get a car are they getting a job so they can stack up their money and get their own place what are they actually doing to show their appreciation for you nothing they don't do anything then when you kick them out when you tell them I can't no more they make you the bad guy they make you the bad guy. What's good, Maki? Appreciate you for tapping in. But yeah, man, a lot of people, they want you to enable them. They want you to enable them. But once you put your foot down and say, I can't, no, no more. They might leave your life. But guess what? You're not being drained anymore. You're not being a human resource station anymore. You can finally get on with what you were trying to do. You ain't got to worry about nobody else. Yo, what's up, what's up? But, um... Uh, we disable them. That's 100% facts. You gotta disable the. You have to disable the enable button. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to do that exact same thing. But, uh. Yeah, man. We're actually past the light goal. So, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get on with this topic. It is easy to live in the flesh, but hard to live in the spirit. Ooh, boy. It's easy to live in the flesh, but it's hard to live in the spirit. We live this battle every single day. You're always one choice away from good or evil. And when I say evil, I don't mean evil towards other people, but evil towards yourself and towards the Father in Heaven too. You can choose to go have um, relations with females outside of a marriage. You can choose to go on the internet and fap. You can choose 
to uh, hit that joint. You can choose to get drunk every single day. Or you can choose not to. You can choose to deny the flesh. You can choose to crucify the flesh and live spiritually. But I promise you, the, the wants of the flesh are strong. They are strong. You can't deny it on your own, I promise you that. A lot of times we'd be saying, yeah, I don't want to do this. But you know you want to. I don't want to go fat. I don't want to go and get on the internet and get on the corn. But you know you want to. You know you want to, but you don't want to. But you end up doing it anyways because you mentally you talk yourself into doing it. You know, well, I'll just go do this real quick. You know, it's just one time. Guess what? One time turns into another time and another time and another time. Same thing with interacting with, you know, bedroom activities outside of your marriage. Same thing with hitting that joint every single day. Same thing, uh, getting drunk every single day. Then you lie to others. That's 100% facts. It's so easy to live in the flesh. It's not even funny. You are literally only one choice away from it. You are one choice away from it. Every single day, what you do, you are one choice away from it. Whether it be to ignore somebody who needs help because you don't want to be seen as somebody who stoops down to uh, talk with homeless people. Uh, somebody who needs help catching their dog because you don't like people or you don't like dogs or whatever the case may be. You are always one choice away from living in the flesh or living in the spirit. You're one choice away. And the choice is yours. Just understand that there's spiritual consequences that come with it. It's like putting something on your tab. Right? If you go to a... Uh, we'll say if you go to Starbucks all the time. And you say, yo, can you put this on tab? You know, I got you the next time. Or I got you when I get paid. And they're like, okay. So you get it. Move on. Come back the next day. Yo, can you put this on my tab real quick? I still ain't got paid yet. Okay. You get up, move on. Until you finally get paid. They say, yo, you get paid. All that stuff that got put on your tab, you got to pay now. Same thing with all the choices that you have made. The flesh choices. Once you leave this earth, you got to pay that tab. All them choices that you made, you put on your tab. Now you got to pay that tab. And what is that tab? That tab, if you ain't, if you ain't turned your life around, that tab is its own suffering. You gotta pay the tab. If you ain't turned your life around, you gotta pay your spiritual tab once you leave the earth. And that is a hundred percent facts and not opinion. That's why it's important that we try to reach as many people as possible, you know. Tell them, you know, try to get them to understand you are only one choice away. You are one choice away every single day. We may not realize it, but we are living on the edge every single day. And that is 100% facts in our opinion. So it's easy to live in the flesh, but it's harder to, to deny the flesh and live in the spirit. Because we think, oh, you know, we want this. We want to do this. But you don't want to. The war we made because of our very first sin, that's 100% facts in our opinion. That's a hundred percent facts in our opinion. You can't fight the war we made. The war we made. Sins of the Father are the sins of the Son, yep. Yeah. That's facts. Our first father, flat human father, Adam, sinned. Because he ate from the tree that's which he was told not to. And so we do the same thing. We eat from the tree that we're told not to. But it's a spiritual tree. We can eat we can choose to eat from the tree of life, or we can choose to eat from the tree of destruction. And a lot of people choose to eat from the tree of destruction every day. And a lot of people don't even realize it because they're so deep asleep. Spiritually, they're so deep asleep. They got this blanket pulled over your head that they can't that over their head that they can't even see. You can almost know what your birth father did 
When you pick up a crazy habit, you can't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I know my, uh, my human father, uh, he used to drop the F-bomb every single day. That was his favorite word was the F-bomb. And I remember my mom telling me about it. I ended up dropping the F-bomb too. <laughs> it's crazy. Sins of the fathers are the sins of the son, man. That's 100% facts in that opinion. My dad started hitting smoking cigars. I started smoking cigars. Went from cigars, smoking cigarettes, from cigarettes to vapes, from vapes to weed, to all of it, to none of it. You know? But with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and end the topic right there. This has been fun getting on here and having these longer conversations, man. I always love it. But with that being said, if you want me to stick around any longer and talk about whatever it is that you guys want to talk about, in 30 seconds, I need to see 65 Roses, and I will change the comment section to where everybody can comment. But if not, tap the follow the bell button and stay tuned in. We give all kinds of different games. And uh, we cover all kinds of different news topics, too. We upload about 12 TikToks minimum a day. Go about 46 lives, six days a week. So there's always plenty of content for you guys. And yeah. That being said, I hope you guys have a good day today. Have a good night tonight. And I will see you all in the next episode. Make sure you all share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that you all know. Deuces. Nobody do it like us. That's 100% facts. Y'all can't do it like us. Y'all can't do it like us. Y'all can't do it like us. Damn, that shit was ugly. Stop.